Hey guys, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to trace the country and location of someone's phone numbers using Python program. In this step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial, I will show you how to use the powerful phone numbers library to parse phone numbers and extract accurate geolocation details. By the end of this video tutorial, you will be able to trace phone number locations with precision and gain valuable insights in Python. Let's get started. The first step is you are going to install phone numbers library using pip install phone numbers on your uh, ter terminal. You just write pip install phone numbers on your command prompt and install it. I have already installed on my computer and uh, the next step is I'm going to import uh, phone numbers uh, library and from phone numbers module I'm going to install I mean import the geocoders uh, module which uh, gonna be used to parse the locations geolocations from phone numbers okay Now I have imported phone numbers and from phone numbers uh, module, I have imported uh, geocoders. And the next step is I'm going to create a function that gonna be parsed the phone numbers and obtain uh, the country and location of someone's phone number. The function going to be uh, just take uh, phone number as an argument and uh, going to parse that phone numbers and obtain the required information from that uh, phone number. Okay, let's get started. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use exception handling method because if the, the phone number is not found or there is uh, something errors happen, so that exception handling going to handle the errors occur. Just return none if there is uh, errors in the phone numbers, number uh, phone numbers. So this exception is uh, from uh, phone numbers module. It is available uh, that's going to handle the errors. Then I'm going to just parse the phone numbers and obtain the required information from that phone number. This phone numbers module has a parse method and it takes the phone number as an argument to parse uh, the information from that phone number because a phone number contains uh, uh, information, uh, different information, country code, uh, location of that phone number, service provider, uh, and uh, country of the phone number and code and country code of the phone numbers. So it contains uh, different informations and I'm going to just for uh, parse that phone numbers uh, and obtain the required information from parsed uh, number. I just pass the phone number as an argument to this parse method and uh, also none. Now, uh, the phone number is parsed and uh, I'm going to obtain the country from that parsed phone number. 
I'm going to use geocoders because the geocoders are just going to obtain the country and the location of uh, the someone's phone number from parcel number. Country name. Country name for that number. And pa I just pass the parsed number uh, into this function. And that obtained uh, information going to be uh, in English. So I just pass en as an argument to this function. And now I have just obtained uh, the country name from that parsed number and save into the variable country. And the next is uh, I'm going to just par, uh, obtain the location of that phone number, a specific location. For example, if the country is United States, uh, States so there are different uh, locations in the United States, and I'm going to just uh, obtain a specific location for, for that number. So in this case, I'm going to use description for number method and uh, pass the parsed number into this function and that uh, 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 location information should be in English. Uh, you can also just uh, pass uh, your own uh, language uh, code. For example, if if uh, the if you wanna just obtain in different languages, you can pass the language uh, code in this uh, instead of in English. <clears throat> now I have uh, just uh, obtained the country and the location of that phone number. And the next step is just return uh, the country and location. Uh, so this this is just creating a generator, a tuple of the result is a tuple in this case, because I just separated by comma and uh, uh, use one return statement, and it, it is going to be in a uh, tuple. Uh, finally, uh, I just test the code, testing the code to obtain the required information, and I, I'm going to use uh someone's phone number to obtain the country and the location of that phone number for example in this example i'm going to use uh, this phone number okay you can you can also use your own phone numbers uh to test this code now i just parse the country and location from uh the function trace phone number and i pass the phone number as an argument to this function if location print country and the location of that phone number. If the result of the parsed information is not country and location or that that phone number is not available it just return uh, the statement which is unable to trace the phone number okay i have just finished writing the code and uh, the next step is I'm going to test this 
using uh, this phone number and going to obtain the country and the location of that phone number. Okay. Let's run this code and let's see the output of this uh, code. Yeah. The country of this phone number is United States and the location of this phone number is San Francisco, CA. So uh, you can use your own phone numbers and test this code and you can obtain the location of that phone number and country of that uh, 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 phone numbers. So this is a simple way to parse or to trace the location of someone's phone number and country of uh, that number. You can also apply the uh, service providers of that phone numbers, uh, just you can use a carrier uh, option. You can import the carrier from phone numbers and you can, you can obtain further information about that phone numbers. This is just uh, an example uh, how you can obtain uh, location and country of someone's phone numbers and how you can trace uh, someone's phone numbers using Python program. I hope you have enjoyed in this video tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching today.